Lesson 9, Setting Up and Solving Two-Step Equations. Here's part one. Students will follow along with their instructor to complete this lesson. Set up and solve the equations for the word problems below. Draw a bar model to check your work. Here's box A. 6 added to 3 times a number is 21. So here's a number. Here's 3 times a number. Here's 6 added to 3 times a number. And this will equal 21. Let's solve the equation. We'll subtract 6 from both sides. 6 minus 6 equals 0. Here we have 3n equals 15. Divide by 3. n equals 5. Let's draw a bar model to check our work. 6 added to 3 times a number is 21. So here is a number. Here is 2 times a number. And here is 3 times a number. Now, here is 6 added to 3 times a number. And this whole thing equals 21. If I know the whole thing equals 21, and this part is 6, I know that this part is 15. And if I know that this part is 15, I know that each of these parts is 5. So the number is 5. Let's take a closer look at that answer. The original problem said 6 added to 3 times a number is 21. And we said that that number was 5. So here's the number. Here's 3 times the number. Here's 6 added to 3 times the number. And all of this equals 21. Now for box B. 6 subtracted from 3 times the number is 21. So here is a number. Here's 3 times the number. And here's 6 subtracted from 3 times a number. And this will give us 21. Let's solve. 3 have 3n equals 27. Let's divide by 3. And n equals 9. Let's draw a bar model to check our work. 6 subtracted from 3 times a number is 21. So here is a number. Here is 2 times a number. And here is 3 times a number. And I need to subtract 6 from 3 times a number. So I'm going to draw another bar underneath. It's going to be the same length. And this is 3 times a number. Now I can subtract 6, and when I take away 6, that'll leave us with 21. That means that this whole thing is 27. And if this is 27, that means this is 27 as well. And if this is 27, I know that each of these parts is 9. So the number is 9. Here's box C. 8 subtracted from 1 fourth of a number is 12. So here's a number. Here's 1 fourth of a number. Here's 8 subtracted from 1 fourth of a number. And this equals 12. Let's solve. 1/4th n equals 20. We can multiply by 4. 
simplify n equals 80. Let's draw a bar model to check our work. 8 subtracted from 1 fourth of a number is 12. So here is a number. And now let's take 1 fourth of a number. So I'm going to draw another bar underneath. Here is 1 fourth of a number. And if I subtract 8, I'll end up with 12. That means that this is worth 20. If this is 20, then this is 20 as well. This is 20. This is 20. And this is 20. So this whole thing is 80. Here's box D. 7 added to 1 fourth of a number is 12. So here is a number. Here's 1 fourth of a number. Here's 7 added to 1 fourth of a number. And this will equal 12. Let's solve. Here we have 1 fourth n equals 5. We'll multiply by 4. Simplify. And n equals 20. Let's draw a bar model to check our work. 7 added to 1 fourth of a number is 12. So here is a number. And here is 1 fourth of a number. I'll draw another bar model down here. And again, this is 1 fourth of a number. Now, 7 added to 1 fourth of a number equals 12. If this whole thing is 12 and this part is 7, I know that this part is 5. If this part is 5, then this is 5, this is 5, this is 5, and this is 5. That means the number is 20. Here's part 2. Set up and solve the equations for the word problems below. Here's box E. 3 times a number subtracted from 6 is 21. So here is a number. Here's 3 times a number. Here's 3 times a number subtracted from 6. And this will equal 21. Let's solve. Here we have negative 3n equals 15. Divide by negative 3. And our final answer is n equals negative 5. Finally, box f. 3 times a number subtracted from 6 is negative 21. So here's a number. Here's 3 times a number. Here's 3 times a number subtracted from 6. And this will give us negative 21. Let's go ahead and solve. Here we have negative 3n equals negative 27. Divide by negative 3. Final answer, n equals positive 9.